Hey there, health enthusiasts. Did you know that our nights are no longer as dark as they used to be? This phenomenon known as light pollution is doing more harm to our health than we might think. Let me break it down for you. Light pollution is essentially the excessive use of artificial light at night, from streetlights, buildings, and even our own devices. And it's not just about spoiling stargazing, it's a serious health risk. One of the key ways light pollution affects us is by messing with our circadian rhythm. This is our body's natural sleep-wake cycle, and it's regulated by hormones like melatonin. When we're exposed to too much artificial light at night, our melatonin levels drop, disrupting our sleep. Poor sleep can lead to a range of issues, from insomnia to more severe problems like heart disease and diabetes. And it doesn't stop there. Studies suggest that excessive light exposure might even increase the risk of certain cancers and fertility problems. It's a growing area of research, but the early findings are pretty concerning. So, what can we do about it? On a community level, we can advocate for better outdoor lighting. This means using warmer colored lights, lowering light levels, and installing shields to direct light where it's needed. At home, we can create healthier environments by dimming lights in the evening and using warmer tone bulbs. Limiting screen time before bed and using night modes or blue light filters on our devices can also help. Blackout curtains can block out unwanted external light and night lights are a better option for those midnight bathroom trips. By taking these simple steps, we can protect our health and contribute to darker, healthier nights for everyone. So, are you ready to fight light pollution? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more insights on how to live a healthier life. Thanks for watching.